Hello guys, welcome to the free automation learning channel. My name is Shrak Singh and today we are going to discuss what is a firebug, firepath, selenium id, how we can identify web elements. So today agenda are introduction of fire, firebug, firepath, selenium id and identify web elements by three different way. So guys today I am going to show you how we identify web elements by different three ways by using firepath, firebug and selenium ide. By doing this uh, I will cover two browser uh, firefox and chrome. So let me start. What is a firebug? Firebug is a additional third party tool. By using this we can easily uh, see developer source code. We can also uh, use F 2 L developer tool, but it becomes uh, sometimes it becomes difficult to get uh, source code and identify XPath or uh, IDE by uh, developer tool. So the, uh, to overcome this, we can install Firebug uh, to so that it it has a good GUI and we can easily identify the source code. So now let me. Uh, show you how we install firebug just open firefox and here we can go tools web de developers and get more tools now here i can you can see first option is a firebug and i can just add to firefox i i already have add, have been added so I do not add now but uh, this way you can add add to add to Firefox and just restart Firefox you can see this icon just click on this icon and you can see that this is the firebug and just click on here you can see that you easily identify what is the source code and all this way and uh, now second is what is a Firepath. Firepath is a extension which run on Firebug, and by doing this, we can easily identify our XPath. So basically, by in Firebug, we can have to make own XPath or it give absolute XPath. So in by using Firepath, Firepath generates automatically fire relative XPath. So, what is a absolute X path and what is a relative X path? We will discuss in further video. Just now, you can easily focus what is a firebug and firepath. So, how we can install firepath? Just go to Google firepath for Firefox. Click on this. you can see this is a firepath we can click on this add to firefox so this is a this is a mandatory that uh, by if you are using firepath you should install first firebug here it is also mentioned so when you click on add to firefox and restart the firefox then you can easily identify any x path let me show you how it will work first open firebug and when we you install firepath a uh, new uh, features display on this screen this is a firepath here you can uh, show with what is kind of fire, uh, x path you need you need absolute x path just click on this you need a relative x path so untick this so guys relative x path is much better than absolute x path and how we will discuss in further video and by using firepath you can you can identify xpath you can identify css so let me show you how we can identify it. suppose i have to search any keyword so i have to identify web element of this i go to this and you you can see we easily identify the xpath now we in now we i need to uh, identify this web element by CSS. So just go to CSS 
click on this and again this so this is a css come now i want to generate absolute x path for this so i tick on this and go to fire path give me a second this x path and let me check yes it is clear and now click on this and so you you see this is the absolute x path right so by this we can easily identify the web element on firefox now let me open the documents now what is the selenium id the selenium id is a tool of selenium family so i'm not uh, cover selenium id i'm just show you how you can install and how selenium id is useful when we identify web element so just let me open firefox open google.com selenium id download and this is the link where which we have to click by clicking on this and the download link comes click on download you can see the add to firefox come click on add to firefox restart and you can see the selenium id display here right and now let me show how this selenium id is have full to identify the web element suppose i have to click on this i just identify the x path this is a relative x path i copy this open selenium id double click on this copy here I have to enter any key. This is, I have to type any value. This is selenium. And double click on this. So you can see the x path is R. Okay. So by this approach, we can easily identify the whether this x path is right or not. I make a change here now if I if I double click on this then it show me the error right so we easily identify and it also show me the right so we easily identify whether my x path is working fine or not which we have identified by fire path right so we have covered this using firefox we have covered this using firepath and we covered this using selenium id now how we identify web element on firefox or chrome so friends by firefox we can identify by firepath we can identify by firebug so let me give you how when you will get experience how you we can to make your own x path suppose i open google right and i have to identify this so i just click and this so this have a text right i am going to make my own x path by this so i click on this so all these things i will explain in upcoming video is just a demo video how we can identify the x path by using chrome or firefox or something right now you can see you can see it is a to gmail we can identify here 
so i am going to now you can see right and you also see that the gmail is highlighted so why this we can uh, we can uh, create own xpath and now let me see whether it is xpath is working fine or not so i just open selenium id and i have to click so i give click command now i double enter on this you see automatically uh, selenium id click so this is a good xpath and we can uh, use this xpath in our script so the, this way we can identify the xpath in firefox but in chrome but in chrome we have uh, some additional tools we can use this or we can just use a developer tool we can open developer tool by pressing f12 so this is a developer tool which i am talking suppose i have to click enter or i have to enter email i have to click on this and this so friend this is the thing where i have to i will get now i have to check i have to create my x path we can we can take name we can name id but in case they if there is no name or id we have to create an our x path so i am going to show how we can create x path in chrome right so suppose i have to create the x path of this double black slash input id email give me a second can see by doing this we can identify x path right this is for this and this is our x path for this right so this is i have created x path so friend we can also copy or paste uh, x path by using fire firebug i i let me show you this suppose i have to uh, uh, identify the web element of this i have click on this and now i am on firefox and they be using firefox i click on this so this is a this is this is the identifier let me maximize this right so by right click on this you can also copy x path if you copy x path and if you paste this x path you will get absolute x path but in coming video i will explain you how you can identify your x path why is relative x path is better than absolute x path what is the advantage of relative x path and absolute x path right so uh, for this video uh, we have covered all our points so thank you to watching this video and bye